Brand new GoPro. Finally replacing the one with the broken screen. This got damaged when I was working on the uh, torsional damper or dampener. Is it damper or dampener? Brand new GoPro gets some protection. I've got a screen cover for the back and uh, you know I put a lens on the front and a lens on the back. There's also one on the display here on the side on the side front but uh, yeah that one took a little bump broke the screen it was working fine for a while if I really needed to see my shot I could use my phone app but I reset the memory on the app or reinstalled it or something and it wanted me to repair this in order to get into pairing I have to use the, the touch screen so got to the point where I really needed to get another GoPro it's awesome though because now I have a extra GoPro to charge batteries and to get uh, a time-lapse shot while I am recording video with this. Time lapse for driving and one to film a uh, vlog with. If I want to get a time lapse of a long drive and then uh, grab some shots of something else. So anyway, it's uh, two bridges with one stone for multiple things, a uh, battery charger, some better shots for the driving. Big purchase, but uh, it had to be done. I, was, I, was, I went as long as I could using this, or the broken camera. This records audio and video just fine still. It just doesn't have a touch screen. And that makes it hard to tell what kind of shot I'm getting. Like if I'm up here at the table pointing downward, I try to get this whole green mat in the shot and it's hard to do that without that. Or without the phone being able to pair. Either way. All right, there we are. A little upgrade just for you guys. Gotta bring you the best footage. And I do like these Hero 8s. Just got all these screws caulked. I was going to get a rubber washer, but I uh, haven't. I just got impatient and decided to. Because if I got a rubber washer, I'd still have to paint them or find a stainless steel screw to replace them with. If these screw heads start rusting, they'll leave little rusty streamers down the uh, front of the RV. So I'm just doing that. Looks good. Looks good to me. You can't even really tell. Well, this is freaking nuts. It was a 100 degree day today. It is still like 90 degrees outside and it's raining. I had my headphones on. I was listening to a movie and it was so loud when it first started. It's not too bad right now. But uh, yeah, this is weird. I come out here and put some things under the RV. I'm in the middle of a project. Nothing in the forecast about it either. It does say raining, without the G, raining, 45 minutes, 45 M. So 73 degrees, cloudy. 99 is a high, 67 is a low, cloudy, raining, 45 minutes. I'll take a screenshot. starting to stop now just a quick little downpour that was weird though i was watching a movie and just heard rain and i was like no way that's that's on my rv roof but this is the pacific northwest pretty close to the coast so i guess we're getting a little moisture rolling in I'm on a mission today to find a bag of old wire, scrap wire. Actually, I think it's a wad of... Actually, I'm not sure what it is, but it, there's... One of these bags has a whole bunch of wire in it. And I'm seeing that it's, uh... Wire's getting expensive, so I have to find my stash. Last few, uh, up here... Going through my last few bags of stuff I couldn't quite fit in my storage unit. You find uh, copper clad aluminum. Which is not something you want to use for anything important. I 
Oh, there's the windshield wiper module for the for patches. Set the low speed, low speed adjust, adjustment, centering adjustment. Everything's been all hacked and cut up to work on just a manual switch. I don't know. I can make a simple, a real simple circuit just to pulse that windshield wiper on and off if I need to. Uh, maybe I should actually. Let's go ahead and take that. I'll look at it a little more. I do believe it has some wiring. It would be nice to have that intermittent back. I was just going to do something with some transistors. Make a flip pop circuit. Actually, I think that's what goes to that. This is something else. There's some scrap wire, though. That is the mission. Trying to find a... Uh... Trying to find some colored wire. I need some, um, like multiple colors. I was looking at online for wire, and it's like really expensive and kind of hard to find. It's mostly a copper clad aluminum I was finding. And I really need some like yellow and red and blue, just multicolor, so I can indicate different systems or different uses of a wire when there's multiple wires going beside each other. Uh, but it kind of looks like I grabbed that bag already. That must be in storage. There's a little trans pan. That was kind of a nightmare. I remember that. Actually, that's the one I never used. This is, uh... Got the right shape, but it's too shallow. It hits my foot. So I couldn't use it, but it looks really nice. It's trans pan. It's got a drain on it. Which I really wanted to work. I'm going to go ahead and take this too, actually, because all I do need to do is make a spacer. Let's get that uh, turbo 400. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this. Put that in my storage unit. Oh, the water heater. I want to do something with that too. Um, air conditioner roof gaskets for, the, for an RV. 14 inch. Uh, 14 inch gaskets. There's the old 3000 lot. I got fried. Alright, transpan. Windshield wiper module. An extra air hose. Oh, that thing. I could squeeze a few more things in the storage unit. What is this? Got knobs on it. Oh, it's my in. Ugh. That's my uh, plasma cutter. It's a cheap one. Cheaper, anyways. Uh, oh boy, a bunch of ABS fittings. Four inch or three inch? Four inch. The uh, plasma cutter. Oh, my spring compressor. I got a bunch of stuff up here. Oops. Good thing I got that. This GoPro all armored up. It's happening already. No, we're good. Oh, some springs. These are my steering centering springs. Alternator bracket mount. Kind of funky thing that also used to hold the uh, air pump for the RV. Some heat shield. I could use that too. Huh. Getting some nice cool weather today. I love it. more stuff out of the barn should be able to store this find a spot in the storage unit some projects for later switch the wiper module dig through and see how that's all connected and reconnect it and I took it out uh, seems like the only thing wrong with it was a 
bone fuse, but they had snipped the controls on the steering column and just put in a manual switch. So there's no quick way to hook that back up. Get to that later. Got some spare parts, steel. Steel's good to have. Brackets actually, good to have brackets. Get some exhaust pieces. Good stuff. Spring compressors. Yes, yeah. I'll have to store it in the off to the side for now. The RV's not ready to. We'll grab that on the way out. All right, you guys. It is avocado and burrito time. Burrito avocado time. Had a pretty good breakfast this morning too. Had a couple eggs, scrambled, cooked them with butter. Put them on a small tortilla shell. I got these small tortilla shells, look at that. This pantry is looking great. Nice and packed, stocked up. Um, we had a tortilla shell shortage. All the big soft flour tortilla shells were gone, so I got some of these smaller ones that were still left. That was a little freaky. However, I just got back from shopping today and they are back in stock. So now I've got a crap ton of these flour tortilla shells. Um, Wheat, potato, partial potato. Uh, also grabbed some eggs to uh, while I was out today, as well as some Campbell's chunky canned stuff. They have all sorts of things, and they're around two bucks. And I think these are freaking awesome. I'm stocking up on those for my prep. That looked good, so I got that. Um, my mission was to get this though these i like this chicken corn chowder chicken corn chow as well as nope that's a hot one that's an original one i'm not a big fan of either of those but i got them anyway uh a while ago but now i just get these these are my favorite the onion chilies awesome and they eat pretty well cold as well which is um Partially why I'm a big fan of these right now. Just a quick, easy meal. Uh, some, uh, yeah, my home pantry's looking good. And I'm about to make some avocado burritos. What are avocado burritos? They are burritos made with avocados. And coleslaw is a base. Or lettuce. I like lettuce. I like shredded lettuce. Big fan of lettuce, but it goes bad kind of quick. Coleslaw stores well, so I stick to coleslaw. Um, there's some kale up in here, but for the avocado burrito, my favorite combination, what I've been doing, and what, I'm, what I've been sticking with is um, coleslaw's base, some carrots along the side, broccoli even, but mostly it's just coleslaw, carrots and these avocados which is probably what I'll do today since these are pretty big these particular avocados are from Peru I just had some from Mexico they were like this big little babies they ripened first and I had those the other day really good I think the best ones I've ever had though are out of uh, California product of Peru Avoterra these were extremely green when I first got them like bright green but uh, yeah never had a Peru avocado before so let's try that out see if I like them these baby carrots are a must on these avocado burritos I don't know uh, I think it's just the texture the crispy carrots against the soft avocado is just really good. Fine looking carrot. So can't skip out on those beef carrots. Don't have a lot of room though. Um, so I'm gonna split these in half on one side. If you pack the burrito too full, it won't. It won't function correctly as a burrito. It's 
golden sauce right here. Uh, here's some crazy horsies knocking out the water again. I think this is right. Gonna chance it. I if there's a way to check, give it a poke. It's gonna be the uh, most ready one, anyway. The others are still kind of green. Perucado. It might be just a little too ripe still. It's not a big old seed. And a bit lighter in color than what I'm used to seeing. That there for now. Yeah, that's good and soft. Tastes a little different though. A little maybe sweeter. Cheddar cheese down. Yeah, this is uh, just barely ripe. I probably could have waited a little longer on that. But I am kind of experimenting with how soon uh, I can be. I don't like when the avocado goes all mushy and brown. It's not bad. It's almost like this side's. Yeah, that's this side's a little thicker. I think it's even less ripe. It's like it just started ripening. It's not completely done. That's weird. Avocado is like half ripe. Stranger, so we'll just split these. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh boy, the ripe bits are freaking good. Yummy. So, yeah, I've been kind of just analyzing the skin it also seems to get a little crinkly when it's close to ripening actually that's still it's got a couple pieces that are good it's not the center the center is freaking hard now this piece no yeah Two pieces, two uh, not to rape yet, or three pieces here. Just barely started ripening, that's alright. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. With this much less avocado, I probably could have put in some broccoli. I also like doing the, the avocado burritos with broccoli. If I could go back in time, I might just do that. Because I'd like to get these a little, little thicker. A little more plump. Like my burritos plump. One of my favorite burritos. Well, I just uh, made a partial gaming video. 
Playing some Driver 1 for the PS1. Pretty awesome game. And it killed it. PlayStation 1 is done. Well, it needs, uh, sounds like it's having a problem with its optic sensor, so I'll probably replace that. I'll get into it later. Probably just order a used PS1 for now to keep those gaming videos coming. The gaming channel has been really slow lately, obviously. I forgot to put my time where it is uh, a priority onto the Class A living. We'll get some gaming videos coming soon, but right now, yeah, we've got uh, just one episode made and this old PlayStation finally kicked the bucket after all these freaking years. This is... I got this out of Toys R Us a long time ago. Brand new. I still remember the experience. It was great. I traded it to my brother or my stepbrother for uh, my first car and I was like, I don't know, 12 years old so I didn't have a license but I had a field to go romp it out in, go drive and make jumps and this is all like an 84 Buick, I want to say, four door. Old Buick barely ran. But uh, anyway, traded it to him for that, and this eventually came back to me. Because uh, he got into drugs, and uh, was trying to sell all of his stuff off in a garage sale back in the day. And for some reason, this stuff didn't sell. And I got a bunch of his games, and got my PlayStation 1 back. So that's this beautiful thing. Gosh, I was so happy to get my first... This is actually my second console. I bought my first console, also from my stepbrother which was a Sega Saturn. So, PS1 needs a repair. So that'll be kind of fun to take that apart and fix it up. But yeah, it won't read discs, so. Going on the back burner, like I said, the uh, RV living takes priority. I need to fix things, I need to make money. The gaming is fun and I will always bring you guys gaming videos. There's, it's just a little slow right now, so bear with me, those who watch the gaming channel. I do have my N64 with me, so I'll probably be getting into that here soon. And get back into the Aiden Chronicles. That's a fun one. I wouldn't mind playing that some more. My PC has a hard time recording itself while it's playing PC games. They're a little uh, higher definition. And well, this old PC has a hard time doing it. So when I record PC games, it's real laggy and hard to watch. So I don't do it. But what I have been playing on it is The Forest. That's a pretty fun game. Really freaky. I thought it was just a game about... A forest and cannibals and survival it's a little more than that and it's actually pretty fun so that's why i've been doing it in my spare time when i get a new computer i'll start recording pc games but uh, the last few times i did that it was real laggy and didn't really record well the game doesn't play well uh pc update is on the list so down the road we'll So yes, that's it. No more gaming on the PS1. A little bit of a bummer. I was getting, there's so many games I could go off for years just going through a list of all the games I uh, have really enjoyed on that console. I got my N64, I really enjoyed that too, but uh, the PS1, that was that was huge. And I never actually owned an N64 till uh, a little later in life. I grew up on the Sega Saturn and the PS1 uh, regular Nintendo, of course, that was a... Well, I started out on the Atari, it's not my era, but my preschool had an Atari, and I remember the tank game. And then, uh, my dad's friend's kid down in the basement had Duck, duck Hunt, or... Duck Hunt? Duck, Duck, Go? What is that? Is that a game? Anyway, Duck Hunt, for the, um, regular Nintendo... And along with the Atari, that's one of my earliest memories of gaming. So it goes way back, gaming. I'm really fond of it. I have a passion for the exploration and adventures of the virtual world. So there will be more gaming videos coming. I'll probably just get on the N64. I like sharing with you guys my little virtual adventures. But yeah, for right now, let's just pack it up. Maybe even put the boob tube away. That would save on some gas. Thinking about setting up maybe just a little gaming center in my storage unit so I could you know, pop in there, drop off some supplies, and do a gaming video, and... Main priority, you guys already know, is the house. Gotta make sure this is up and going, and I got a big roof job coming. I think I wanna do it. I think I wanna just tear it off and get it done this summer. Get it out of the way. So, let's put the games aside. Not that I haven't really had... I finally played that fucking thing after a month, and craps out on me so huge plans for the gaming 
though. I want to make a gaming rack. I want to have all my consoles just set up and mounted and stable. I'll probably end up ordering a new PS1 and fix this one later. I'm going to wire everything in, have a little selector switch. It's going to be uh, kind of weird right here, I think. I'm going to have a little bit of a roof over my head for a little better gaming center. Huge plans. First, we're going to fix this thing, make sure it can drive around good. Lots coming up. Stay tuned.